I think would love to hear a little bit about your particular work um, in helping patients address chronic diseases and a little bit of your work, your work background, because it's funny, we talk about the wellness of, you know, our finances, but there's also like our wellness of our mental and physical and spiritual and emotional health as well. So I'm excited for them to hear about that. There is no wealth without being healthy. So um, as you mentioned, I'm a physician. I'm actually a kidney doctor. I've been in practice. I started my own practice about 20 years ago. And about uh, 15 years ago, I met my husband and he would watch how hard I would work and how dedicated I was to my patients. And he said, do you know, you could help thousands more people if you actually started a company that dealt with chronic disease. And he and I together, uh, as we were building our family, had some really awful experiences. Um, you know, speaking as a doctor, I, I thought, these are my people, they're going to take care of me. And that just wasn't the case. Um, and one night coming home with one of our sons from the emergency room, he was an infant, I said to Nick, and I was very, very busy uh, practicing medicine at the time, I said, you know, I recognize that I'm not able to be a great doctor, a great mother, a great wife. Something's got to give. Maybe this is the time for me to consider doing something with you and starting a different kind of business where I can control my hours a little bit. Uh, and I said, do you know, I want you to build me an app and I want you to become my assistant and I want you to drive me around town and I want to see patients in their homes, in our community, right? Kind of at the time like Uber was doing, Uber turns on and off for a driver and can work when they have time. Um, and so he did that. He built me an app. We named it Heal. It was a play on the term that we would come to you, right, and, and take care of you. And it was a very sophisticated app, even in, in its first iterations. And we took that company, even though hilariously, I thought I was really busy back then, right? Trying to practice medicine, being a doctor. <laughs> we, we, and a mom. We, yeah, being a mom and, and a mom, yeah, I apologize. And uh, we took that app and we got funding for it. And within three weeks, uh, we had a million and a half dollars in funding for it and started seeing patients in their home. Uh, we expanded that company to 13 states, 300,000 house calls, $200 million in venture capital. Uh, that company is likely to be acquired by Humana, which is a, an insurance plan uh, very shortly here. Um, and so that was a wild ride. I mean, I, I did in, in fact get to help thousands of people, uh, which was, you know, and is a dream for me. So. Uh, in the last year or two, we stepped away from Heal as, you know, they've, they've been in this acquisition phase and we uh, started a new company, uh, again, in the chronic care space, helping people carry out their tasks. Nick named the company Renee specifically because that's what I am. I take care of my children. I take care of my parents. They say, hey, Renee, you know, I need something. Make me an appointment or make sure I'm taking the right medicines. And so it's an AI-based a generative AI-based health assistant. So we are using uh, artificial intelligence to carry out tasks like schedule appointments and reminders and when your refills are coming up. Um, and so that's, that's another very exciting way to help people get accessible care using software. 